Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Sarah Watts and I am on the OSM board. And together with Ofer and Lionel, uh, I've been working with this certification program for Joomla. So this is an opportunity for us to tell you what's going on and uh, what is our plans for the coming year within the certification program. Uh, it all started with a couple years ago, it started to be like, oh, this is something we need. And almost nothing happened, right? So we said that we had asked that question during the survey. out for volunteers for the uh, certification program in the magazine yeah some of you okay so this is the result that I'm going to present to you that came out from the uh, that came out from our work so far so my agenda for today is just to talk about why certification at all and then what has happened so far and what's going to be the next step for making this coming true and then the floor is open for questions and i really like if it's interactive it's just a part part that we don't have microphone to pass out so if you ask a question i would love to repeat your question so everyone who's not attending can hear the question before i answer it is that okay with you and if i don't please remind but that's my intention. So why should we have certification? Any idea? Ensure quality. Ensure quality. Yeah, okay. So also to keep the guidelines if someone needs a new job or not to people who cannot learn it. Customers for So customer can choose a good vendor or a good yeah. good supplier. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Yeah? Okay. So if you are certified, it's easier to sell yourself to clients, okay? Also that you guide newcomers the way uh, or provide a way how to certify it. So to like if, you, if you want to become a developer who don't have extensions, that's the way you're going to go. You do, you have to learn this, you have to learn that. You can look at this there, you can learn this here. So also it's um, about helping people to, to gather the Okay, so found the resources available and accessible to learn how to use Joomla in different kind of ways as a developer or as a user, okay? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to tell you what we actually talked about. We talked about establishing a standard. So if I say that I'm a Joomla developer, that actually means something. Or if I'm a Joomla site builder. Like we, we have different tracks today. And it's about integrator, it's site builder, it's developer, it's programmer. It means a lot of things for us, but for maybe the clients or maybe newcomers to Joomla, they have no idea what we're talking about. So it's putting a standard what that means. So it's easy to communicate. And also to ensure that we have the same kind of quality, at least as a threshold. We talked about providing a documentation measurement for knowledge. It could be, as you say, an important role to choose a supplier. And it could also be a way of developing the workforce. If you have a company that have a lot of Joomla developers, you might want to discuss this and say, okay, next year, our goal for you is to be certified in this area. And that means that we might get more money and that means that you might have more salary. So that can be a goal measurement as well. 
So what has happened until today? We started with the magazine call out for volunteers and we had so many volunteers. It was really exciting. We were sitting there with tons of emails coming in and we didn't just say, please raise your hand if you're interested. We actually asked for a CV in that kind of way. We asked for you to say, I think I'm qualified to be on this phase and on this working group because I did this and this in my background and I have this qualification and this is what motivates me to actually be part of this. So the first thing we did in, in the working group was to talk about how can we diversify the group as most as possible. Within language skills, within culture, within different qualifications. So we had such a diversified group that we can actually explore and have this discovery phase. So we created a working group and the working group outcome was that the first certification that we're going to aim for creating is something we combined called Joomla Administrator. And the reason for that is that it's the most documented one already. It's easy to access that kind of documents in books or on Joomla.org. And it's kind of the easiest one to make sure that we have the right questions to qualify people. And we want to start getting this out to the community as soon as possible. So that's why we want to start with something. And don't start with the most complex one because we want to start learning step by step. So that was the next outcome and say that we should take one role at a time. The most important thing is that we're going to learn from the process. If it's not working, we have time to adjust it until the next program comes along. One of the big discussions in forums, in comments, in different blog posts, in LinkedIn and everywhere has been if this is going to be a successful program, it has to be accessible. And accessible for us in the working group was that it should be online. So it's not that you have to physically become uh, go to a center because it could be too far away for you or cost you too much money. We don't want to have it. The barrier for passing the certification should not be money. The barrier to qualify for the certification should be knowledge. So that was something that was really an uh, important outcome from our discussions. So at a low cost, that is, it could be different and different kind of the world but it should be accessible for everyone. And accessible on, always means language in Joomla, right? If we think about the admin certification, you work in the admin interface a lot. And if you're gonna be tested on that, if you used to have, like I have, I have Swedish in my admin. I know exactly where every point of menu and all the configurations are and what they call in Swedish. But if I'm going to pass a certification and that's in English, that's going to be a huge thing. Not that I don't know English, but I'm not used to it. So it has to then be translated to other big areas of language and it should be easy to translate. And that means that a lot of language groups like Spanish, Italian, and other countries that usually are not that familiar with English are also able to pass this test based on knowledge, not on language, okay? So that's uh, the two different accessible things. And then another question that I come up a lot was, are we gonna attach this to a training program? Are we gonna put up a curriculum and say, this is exactly what you're gonna train your students to do, and you actually have to go through that training before you get certified? And we discussed and said, mm -mm, no, we're gonna have a certification that's gonna be online to test your abilities. How you gain that knowledge, if you do that online, coaching, training, by experience, reading a book, that's up to you guys, okay? So if you, are, if you are that kind of person that learns something better if you are in a school situation, in a classroom, go for it. 
find a trainer that can help you with that. Or if you want to have a coach, do that. But if you are really good at this and you just want to have a quality mark that you know this, go, al go along and take the test immediately. So we're not going to do a curriculum and we're not going to force everyone to go through any training. And the training companies are free to do trainings to prepare the students to pass the test. And then the question came up, are we going to certify trainers? Is that a part of the certification thing? And we thought that no, we're not going to certify trainers. Because trainers, they have different way of teaching and they have different experiences in different cases and they want to mix things sometimes and if they want to do this at the university that could be a different way of learning this if you want to go intensive core online that's a different learning thing as long as you get the knowledge and grasp what you're getting and actually can show that you have that knowledge so it could be that the project is going to outcome with outlines of curriculums but it's not mandatory, it's just for inspiration. It's more important for us in the project to find a way of describing what kind of knowledge are we looking for that's gonna be tested. So it's pretty clear for all trainers that wanna train for a certification that they know that they're teaching the right curriculum. And if you think about the quality of the trainers, we have so great trainers in Joomla and they, can all, they don't have to get certified you can still look at numbers as a quality mark and say how many people do you train a year for to go and pass the test so if you have 10 in your group and maybe eight took the test and how many had a successful rating so that could be that kind of quality you can ask for instead and we think that they have then the possibility to change the curriculum and make this even better to the next one we also talked about the different version numbers, right? If you know Joomla 1.0, should you be certified for life? Are you going to be certified as a company? Yes, because you have one employee with a certification. So we said that the certification is personal. That's what the outcome came to. You want one person to be certified and that's personal. So if that person leaves the company, that company can no longer say that I have one certified consultant on staff so certification are going to be linked it's going to be like in our mind anyway when we talked about this is it should be like a, a graphical badge you can put on your profile or on your web page or wherever you want to have it and if you click on it it actually validates that it's yours and it's still valid Okay, so if someone copies that one and says, I'm certified or I took the test and I'm not the right person, that is going to show up. And we want to have a certification for every major version. So we're aiming for having a certification for 3.x, then the next 4.x and something like that. Well, the version itself goes away, right? So, so it's, a, it's like end of life in the form of it's not. So this might be very important for us for the customer uh, who actually uses the old version. He's not a lot able to, to switch it because of whatever reason. He might be actually looking for someone being certified for that old version. Yeah. So this. So you certify for a version. And it's good for you to have. At least in my point of view, when I look at clients coming to us and they have a requirement set when they come to us with a proposal and say that you need to be certified within your area. That's a must in their proposal, like in the request. And today we can say that, no, we're not certified, but there is no certification program in Joomla. But still we're off the list, so we're not the chosen vendor or supplier. So I think that could be something that is going to gain a lot. At the same time, as you say, the numbers, if you have 1.5 and 2.5 and 3.5 certification on your profile, it means that you've been around a lot. You know many versions. You have longer experience, perhaps, than others. So I don't see in, in that the 
the working group didn't say that it's, we should take them away or we make them obsolete. It's more like we wanted the certification to be for one, one major version. And you can see the history as well. And did anyone go to Sanders and look at the volunteer portal? No? OK. So that could be an idea as well. Could put the badge on the volunteer page and say, I'm certifying this area, and that, therefore, I would like to apply to be in the bug squad. Or if you have the resource list where we have all the people doing templates and services and everything else, maybe there could be a place where we can put certification as well. So it's up to us as a community to find out how valid this is going to be, how important are we going to make this? Because it has to do with communication. If we say this is not important, the clients, the people that do to Joomla, they will not take, it, take this as important. But if we say that this is important, this is a, a way of us saying that you don't have to certify yourself, you can work with Joomla, there is no barrier of you can't code in Joomla if you're not certified. But if you just think in your area, in your country, or in your language, or in your certain role area, it's important for you to be certified, there should be a way of certifying yourself. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, so that's that's the outcome of the, uh, the the discovery phase, and now we're stepping up and doing the next step. So now we are creating a working group in what we call the phase two, and that's actually to do the work. Right after discovery, usually there is that thing. And we're going to have three teams. We're going to have one team that's the goal is to actually create the tests, the certifications, and find a partner that can actually make this happen. Because Joomla is not going to do this. We don't want to put the, a trainer in charge of doing the process of certification. We want this to be globally and the same kind of quality mark. Then we're going to have a certification documentation team. And that means to look at documentation in a different view than we have today. Our documentation today is most for programmers, but it might not be for a specific role. Maybe it's too techy in our way of saying things in the documentation. So it might be that we want to revisit and say that this documentation is really good for you to read if you are going to be certified for the Joomla admin. Maybe there are books that are written that's really good so we can point to them and say this is really good for you if you want to gain the knowledge to be certified in this area. So to identify this documentation and maybe then uh, find those ways. And the third and the last team will work with making this a good thing for trainers. Pointing out to them what are we in the certification looking for as a knowledge. So they can make curriculums to Our term that is used to represent who they are, find out what they want, and make sure that they are served with that kind of and that kind of uh, knowledge so they can do their best work in this. But we're not going to say that there is only one training team or one training company that can help you. It's up to you. And it's up to them if they want to serve and have this kind of classes. They might want to say that this is not our cup of tea. We want to do exactly what we did before, and that's going to work out fine for us. It's up to them. But we're going to make that accessible and easy for them to do whatever they need to do. So. I told you before about the certification team that we're going to then look at defining the, the knowledge and the area. And our plan is to launch this this year, the first one in English. Yep. Uh, uh, partner, you mean someone who actually has a website that, that allows you to take the certification? OK, so that's not online service. Yep. That does this for a lot of other certifications yeah, yeah. that has a lot of knowledge. We don't have the exact knowledge on how to create these. So we need to partner up with someone and say, OK, we know a lot of Joomla. And we know what that 
qualification is going to be in the end, what's going to be tested. But how these questions are created mostly to test people about that, we need more help. So that's why we need a partner. Yeah. Okay, any questions? <laughs> Yeah, we do. And uh, we already contacted some of them and we're going to set up meetings and see what what that's going to be. Yeah. Um, I'd be interested to do a kind of a test qualification or something just to see if I come up to the standards. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we all think so. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, that's the thing as well. We said that if you want to do that, that's fine. It's up to you. It's your money to try that out without having any more knowledge than you have. And that could be really good for a lot of people. You don't have to do anything else than you do today because I say, I, I know this. I can do this. I just want to have the certification. But then you are going to have a period of time if you don't pass that, a period of time where you not, cannot take the test or retake the test. No, Yeah. <laughs> just not like yeah. the, the idea. I like the idea. Is um, yeah, get some learning to see what's on the agenda to learn. Uh, yeah. Has there been any talk given some data testing? Like these guys. Yeah, that would be as well. Absolutely. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sign up. We really need more volunteers. Uh, we had for the phase two. We had a lot of applications already. And, uh, but mostly for getting the program together. So we need more <coughs> for the training group and also for the documentation group. And we need multilingual. But we want to do this step by step. So if you feel like this sounds like a really great idea, I would like to apply to be a volunteer. Tell us a little bit about your background and what you think that you can add to value to the project. And we're going to contact you and say, OK, now we are in the, this phase. Now we're going to pick these people and you're on that list. But it might not be next week, but in the, uh, during the year. Okay? Any thoughts or comments on what type of questions you'll be having in the test? Will it be multiple choice or practical, you know, solving uh, problems or combination? Or it depends on the qualifications to be tested. Sometimes it's just multi questions, answers. Sometimes it's just to pick one. Sometimes you have to actually code if you kind of come to, like to, uh, to the development. That would be other things to do. Yep. What's the price going to be? I mean, because the price uh, in Europe is not the same as in India or as in yeah. Australia. So during the discovery phase, we talked about that a lot. And we said that we're going to make sure that this is not going to be something that Joomla needs to profit on. It's like there's no game for that. It needs to be as low as possible in the different areas. If that means it's going to be a global price, or if that price is going to adjust for different areas, we don't know yet. But we want it to be accessible, so it's more an overall goal. And make that happen could be in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is just my opinion, but I would encourage that Joomla, I think Joomla should profit from this. Why on earth wouldn't they? You guys, the Joomla community is putting this out. The Joomla, whichever group is responsible for it, should be putting all this work in. I mean, not, not a huge profit, but a dollar at best. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah, but that's different though. If it's just gonna be a small percentage, but it's more or less like the m main question has been like, if that costs like a thousand dollars a test, just make sure it's really non-accessible for everyone because that that community doesn't want to have a lot of certification. We don't want that. We want to have the certification for all. Then so it's not open source yeah, it's like it's it's more or less that like we want to make it accessible, and if there is a admin fee or something that's fine but i don't want it to be huge and that's i think that everybody agreed on that team that that was one of the major issues to solve yeah Euro, it will three or four 
400 euros on it, it means you've actually really committed to doing this thing in a serious way, and you're prepared to put some, well, I'm not saying 400 euros, but, 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 but pick something that actually has some real value. So you say that the price should be a barrier in some kind of way. This certification is not going to be free, yes, because we have a partner who's going to solve everything and host everything and do all these things. So it's not going to be free. But it's more or less that we, in the project, in the discovery phase, it was really important that the barrier of having the certification in the end should be that everybody f actually qualified and got through the test. It should not be that you don't have the money. So it depends where you live. And it could be that Europe pay more, and maybe parts of Europe can pay less. And it could be that maybe in Asia, you have so much less. It could be different, but we don't know yet. It depends on the partner, how their pricing strategies could be, but that's our income into that partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Where the income is lower, I think that could be something as well. But, but basically, I think, um, as you said, um, it should be evaluating the, 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 the knowledge and not that I could pay 500 euros. Yeah, and if you are a training company, if you decide that, okay, my training is this and it includes the fee for, the certifi for one certification time, that could be something else. Yeah, we, we haven't solved the pricing, but we just know that our goal when we talk to the partners, we're going to ask those questions up front to say, before we even start cooperating, if, if we want to know what, how the pricing strategy can be and how we can make it as, as ex, uh, accessible as for all people to it. So, yeah? Not so hard, of course it's a lot of work, but it's not so hard to get the test up and running. 
particular part for everybody, but build a trust among the customers in the world. Mm. Yeah. That's a great issue to talk about. It's a great issue, and we need every help we can get from all the people that's going to get certified. So they communicate this as important and as something that they, they are proud of. Yeah, next time. I can't stop thinking about um, if it's a, in a, an official uh, certification, it needs to be checked against, I guess, a central uh, place. Like you said, the communist is, is going to have a badge on the page and it'll link. Let's say I'm an evil developer from some place. I could easily <coughs> make a sub page. That's a good question. Let's t take that into our program. Yeah, it looks. It, it sounds great. So uh, let's take that to phase two to the ones who's going to develop the program in detail and see what they can figure out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have all the answers to all your questions, but I wanted to brief you where we are at the moment and what we are going and uh, that we need help. If you have the time and effort, that would be lovely. So send us an email if you have that. And if you find the blog post on uh, the magazine, the article, all our information is there, how you apply. Okay, Offer, do you have anything else to add to this? But, no? Okay. So I'm not going to hold you anymore if you don't have any more questions. So thank you so much.